Whoa! This is the place in the middle of the woods. Okay, I admit this is really pretty. Even though there are a bunch of mushrooms all over the place, it is very pretty. And colorful. Oh, and there's a more lol. Frank? That's my grandma's name! Oh my gosh! I'm a Pokemon! Have a battle with me! Listen for a second. Scorpion and Sizzly... Sizzlipede are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorpion and I are different species, just like Sizzlipede and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. You are a weirdo. What? You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I... I want to become a Pokemon once. Well, good luck with that then. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, I'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? You, would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? No. You weirdo. You're... That was weird. That was like one of the weirdest conversations I've had with anyone in Pokemon ever. Really for Frank? That'd be me, yes. What's this? You've got a letter addressed to me? Now, who can be sending me letters? Oh, why this says it's from Paula? That does take me back ages. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. What? Was she not a little girl? She fell ill. Don't... Didn't tell me, though. She kept it a secret just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I moved away not long after that fight. I never met her again after the day I left. How was she? Did she look well, dear old Paula? What? This is crazy! Um... She looked well? That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I ought to give you something for this gift you've brought. For you've brought me bought, brought me back a piece of my youth. Okay. You want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving it? What? Are you going to use an Eviolite? Are you going to give me that? I'd love an Eviolite. I could actually put the Eviolite on, uh... On, um, Claudia. That would actually be really useful. Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me. Your defenses are already through the roof, and you're going to do that? I'm just going to use a Pyro Ball, because I can. This is one of my favorite fire attack moves of all time. Just because I kick a pebble and it becomes a flaming meteor that wrecks my opponents? Hell yeah! Eviolite, please give me an Eviolite. Please don't be the, the, the ability. I hope it's not like the ability, like the item where it increases the amount of turns. I already got that item, don't I? Yes! Eviolite! Oh, that is super useful. Wait, this is the end? This doesn't connect to any other towns? Whoa, snap. Oh, wow. It just comes all the way up this way. So then I have to go all the way back down to here just to go this way. Jeepers. Okay. Oh, look at the phantom up there. That was cute. <gasps> Marty! Oh, Challenger Aura. Hmm? You got four gym badges already? I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Look, even more Pico is wary of you. Wait, more Pico, don't tell me you actually like Aura. Uh, we've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. 
Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one look at my Lee card, okay? Oh snap! We actually have Marnie's Lee card now! What's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many gym league challengers left, you know? So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? What the frick? <laughs> okay, what is going on with this lady over here, though? No, oh, what the frick? I gotta talk to this guy. Don't get me a love ball. Oh, dude, you son of a... Oh, it's the love ball. I shouldn't have talked to him. I should not have talked to you. Oh my god, what a freak. Cannot tell if this lady is just old or if she has dyed white hair. Gym challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? Of course. Then please change into your uniform in the locker room. This will not be a mission so much as a test of your quality. It is a very serious examination. That uniform looks good on you. Now relax, clear your mind, and go break a leg. Wait, I have to go back to break the leg! I have to break ball guy's leg, you said! Oh well, we're here. Oh, okay. This place is different. And Opal is just already here, hi. Oh, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Though you are really lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. I kind of figured you were. So my gym missions serves as an audition of sorts too. Oh, don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lower. Oh, but if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy-type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Is Marty going to take over as the fairy-type gym leader here? That'd be cool. Now, let the gym mission begin. Battle with all your skill. Can I climb this ladder? Nope. Oh, it's like an audition here. All right, okay, it's time to start your audition to see if you are worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. Oh, I get it. These gym trainers are the ones who are trying to audition, and I'm the one that's going to beat them down and beat them down, just like Guzma. Watch then. Do you know about fairy types weaknesses? Steel type. Fairies are weak to steel type. Spike wants to learn discharge? Hold up a sec. Um, 100 special attack? Yes? What? Okay. I'm gonna actually teach it that because I thought it was a physical attacker, but I guess it's a mix attacker. But well, mine has better special attacks, so... Okay, let's do this. No rest. I can't even heal my Pokémon between battles. They just keep rolling. Another draining kiss, so if she's just gonna use that... I'm probably just use... I can probably just use the life do. Oh yeah. What was the previous name trainer's name? Annette? That one actually almost got me. I wasn't expecting it to be a memory question. Don't worry about right or wrong, just keep moving forward. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? What? How am I supposed to know that? I never studied that. I don't even remember even ever seeing that anywhere. Who eats curry for breakfast, though? I guess it don't matter since I'm gonna be switching. Cheese omelets. Okay, thank goodness. Defense. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna use Call Mine then. I'm keeping Claudia out. 
Ugh. But look at that, that did nothing. And she's gonna use Draining Kiss. What the flip? Why was that a critical hit? Ugh. Okay, life dude is. And then call mine, and then I'll defeat you. I'll surrender. Ooh, that's the new move. Did I? Oh god, I made the mistake of doing this. Oh, thank goodness. See, this is what happens when you can't use Calm Mind, all of a sudden this happens. I was given all this good defense and- oh. There we go. And now I can use Calm Mind! Finally. Dude, now my defenses are pretty much impenetrable. Unless, of course, if she uses a critical hit. Which is exactly what happens every time to me. Why does that keep happening to me? Okay, use life to two times and then we'll go ahead and defeat this thing. I swear if you crit me. Oh my god. I don't know if I can outmaneuver that. I can outmaneuver that. Out heal that. Unless if it crits me again. Which it's already done that twice. Can I outrun? Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna have to switch Pokemon because. Otherwise, this is gonna be an endless loop. She continues to use False Surrender if I have more than 33% HP, so... Time to use Flare. And now you're being really annoying. Thanks, lady. Thanks. Ah, good. No confusion. One shot. One hit. That's all it takes. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the gym mission. Now I wonder if you've met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader, Challenger Aura? Well, of course. Right, then head on in. Give my regards to the gym leader. Here we go, let's do it. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at how you handled those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner, Pokemon, have behaved. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get it. She's using Galarian Weezing right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love how there's actually the sky and everything above us. And there's the trees from the forest. Okay, Toxic Weezing. Hmm, can't really use Toxic on that. Can I even use Venoshock on this thing? I can, and it does half damage, so that's good. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She's quizzing me in the middle of this? I, did, I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at chat. Oh gosh. That's not good. I didn't expect her to be asking me questions. Oh good, I was still able to beat the wheezing at least. I'm switching Pokemon, by the way, because that was not a good start. Mawile? Okay, yeah, I need to switch to 
Blair for that. I can't take on Mawile with any of my other Pokemon. Oh, my wow, is so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna be switching right back out. Don't worry. Oh, I only have one Pyro Ball left. Ooh. So, Togekiss. I'm gonna send Spike back out for that one. Wow, Togekiss looks big. Oh, shoots and ladders. Oh, that hurts. Ancient Power is a very scary move. Not only does it do massive damage, but it has a high chance, well not a high chance, it has a small chance of lowering all of your stats at once. Which is crazy. She's using out Creamy! Which means she's gonna be using Gigantamaxing. My morning tea is finally kicking in. Okay. Oh, look how cute our creamy is! So adorable. What is my favorite color? Oh, no. Um... Pink? Oh, dear. That's scary. I should have went with Toxic. Is one tall cake. Did anyone order a 50 foot sized cake? You lack pink? I like pink. G Max Finale. I'm sorry, Spike. Okay. She was faster. It didn't even matter that my stats were lowered. Ravenclaw, you're. I'm going straight for Flare. I'm going straight for Flare. Flare, use Max Flare! Oh, this is so cool. I love it when he does that. When she does that, rather. It almost one-shot her. Damn! Not very effective, lady. Ooh. Let's end it with a weaker version of Max Flare. Yeah, I know, I keep doing that, I'm sorry. She's so powerful, oh my gosh. I can't believe she almost one-shotted that Gigantamax out Creamy. Your pink is still lacking, but you are an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. Why, thank you. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting this though. Ravenclaw is evolving. Oh, we now have a Corviknight of our own. Nice. Dude, Corviknight is so cool. Corviknight, the raven Pokemon. This Pokemon reigns supreme in the skies of the Galar region. The black luster of its steel body could drive terror into the heart of any foe. Oh, well, I guess I don't need to use the TM then. Obviously, I mean, I forget a move for Steel Wing. I've been waiting for that Steel type move. Oh, this is so cool.
Well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next dream leader elsewhere. In fact, I've already got an idea about where to look. Too bad about the audition, but here's a fairy badge for your efforts. Hmm. I wonder who she's thinking of. Sonia? Hey, look at that! It's over halfway done. Nice. Ah, oh, yeah, true that. Ooh, Draining Kiss. That's actually a really good move. Lastly, here's a little something for humoring me. This might help add a little more pink to you. <laughs> the fairy uniform. Of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should know it also know when it's time to step out of the stop spotlight. Alright, Sir Chester, huh? Oh, I can actually swap and move those around. So Sir Chester is this one or is it the upper one? Sir Chester right here. Up in the ice. Oof. It's a little bit chilly. Too cold for my liking. Oh god. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hold on now. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. With pleasure. They say two's company, after all. Of course. Back to Hammerlock we go. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Please let me buy them. Let me buy them. Let me buy them. Please. Please. Yes! I can get them. I can get Ultra Balls now. Okay, I'm gonna buy like 30 of these. Wait. I'm gonna beat this old man ass game again. This time. For real. I'm gonna win. I promise I will. Alright, Bernard. Andy. Nard Dog. I got you covered this time. I'm gonna win this one this time. That was a battle as refreshing as a glass of Moo Moo Milk. Oh, Flower Sweet. That's right. Bead was in trouble. I forgot about that. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenger status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course. I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Hmm, that boy. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it! That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth! <laughs> oh my goodness. Time for my gym mission, child! What? Huh, what? What the flip? Pink! Pink! And pink! Congratulations, child! <laughs> that was one of the most comical things I've seen in Pokemon in a long time. Oh, gosh. Miss Opal? What in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Olina, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. 
Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the Wishing Stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Of course. 